guys, so I've made some seafood dumplings and I'm so happy that you guys have tuned in. If you guys want to see how I prepared this, please come on in to the kitchen and let's get started. Again, and if you are new, thank you for coming and I hope that you will return. God bless you guys. Let's get in. Dumplings. What I have purchased is I purchased four packs of these um, dumplings, okay? I have some butterfly shrimp, a package of that, because we're going to be adding it with imitation crab meat. I have my scallions and, of course, cream cheese. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, cut up our veggies. I'm going to take these and cut these up, cut up my shrimp, and we're going to saute it, and then we're going to stir it in with the cream cheese, you guys. All right, so let's get to it. And then you're going to take, and I have some celery in there as well. Not too much. You don't need too much celery. But I have um, less than ha um, a cup of white onions. Okay. I have my chopped, um, I chopped up the imitation crab legs. I have some cabbage. I forgot to tell you guys. Like about a quarter um, of a cabbage, a small cabbage. I chopped my shrimp up and I have the scallions. So what you're going to do, we're going to saute our onions and our, our um, celery. All right, and then we're going to throw in some fresh garlic to this mix. Garlic I just threw in there, you guys. And we're going to throw in our shrimp. I throw in some of my scallions, not all, just some of them, and then um, some fresh parsley, for, um, parsley as well. Throw in that imitation crab meat in there. And we've got some all-purpose seasoning. See that? Not too much. There we go. Not too much because the um, the cream cheese has salt, so you don't want it to be too salty. And we're also going to saute some fresh ginger. I'm going to grate some fresh ginger in this. Okay, and now for our chopped up cabbage. going to toss that in nicely. Now for the ginger, you guys, simple. We're going to grate this. I'm not going to grate too much, but we're going to grate some of that. I'm going to grate it to about from here to here, okay? And try to keep this on medium low so it don't um, get, you know, stuck on the bottom, okay? To prevent it from sticking to the stir, all right? Then we're going to um, add the rest of our green onions in it. And um, some soy sauce. Throw some soy sauce in there. This is the light soy sauce, okay? And I'm going to grate that much carrot, not too much. Stir it in. So I'm just going to cut half a section, okay? See that? What is it? Half a pound to add to this. Now, combine your cream cheese and let that melt in on low, you guys. Because even with a low, it's still like sticking. The imitation crab meat sticks so quickly and easily, so be very careful with it. You gotta watch it, you gotta stay next to it. I'm also gonna add um, a half of a, um, a lemon juice, juice of a lemon, okay? I just threw a squirt of sriracha because it didn't have no heat. And I also added a teaspoon of sugar to this, okay? So the only thing I'm going to do to this now, you guys, is I'm going to add um, some more parsley flakes, some fresh parsley, chop that up, and my green scallions, and that is it, you guys. Taste it. I don't like for this to have a lot of sodium because um, I like to serve this with... Um, I serve it with the black bean sauce. I don't, my camera's not focusing. Hello. So this is what I use as a dip for this. So that has a lot of sodium. Trust me. You do not want to add any more salt to this. Um, if you want, you can add a little heat, black pepper to it, white pepper, whatever you want. But if you want, you guys, sometimes I use, I do chicken with this, but this for this particular party that I'm doing this for, um, a lot of the guests do not eat any meat. They're um, pescatarians. So this is why I'm doing it with the seafood. And I do it with this crab meat as well. But you can do it with um, pork. I do it with pork. I do it with whatever. Okay? 
So let's get this cool. Um, throw the parsley in there and my green scallions. I forgot the juice. I use a lime, you guys. I had a lemon and I noticed that it was going bad. So I have to use the juice of a lime. Half the juice. It's going to give it a nice taste. Mm. There they are. So keep them covered with a wet, um, uh, a damp cloth until you are about to cook them. Cover nice and moist. Keep them nice. Otherwise, they're going to dry out, you guys, and they are not going to be good. So, you may be wondering, how did you do it, Emmy? Yeah. Here you go. I have my water here. Just going to go around in a circle water all the way around and you're going to fold it into a moon okay let me show you guys i had a little help so what i did was i watered on the top just the edges on the front once you fold it okay all right roll that and now we're going to crimp it inwards and you know what i'm going to crunch it and Bring it in, bring it in. I can't do it with one, hold on. So you over flapping. Hopefully one day I can do it with, with when I have somebody or um, I have the proper works um, to use it. But you guys, there it is. And we're done and I'll show you guys what it looks like once they are done cooking. We're going to get the wontons in, but these are going to be deep fried. Um, I'm not going to boil, not wontons, the dumplings, sorry. The reason why I'm going to deep fry them is because the center is already cooked and I'm not making pork. If I had made the pork and it's not cooked, I would have to um, boil it, put it on, in a hot bath and boil it and then give it a nice hot sear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deep fry these and then let's get our oil right into my deep fryer get that in there Oops, I can't all right you guys so it took a whole three liter gallon of vegetable oil so that's what I'm using to fry this you guys so I'm gonna let the heat come up and let me just turn the temp up I'm gonna turn up the temp um, for about 338 degrees Fahrenheit and let's wait okay, so you guys this is it ready to pack it up to go and get ready to go to this party you guys so simple easy crunchy you guys you will not regret making this I have also my um, dipping sauce that I'm gonna be making but this all it is is I'm gonna use you can use hoisin you guys I have black bean here, but you can use hoisin sauce. I usually use hoisin. I just realized yesterday when I was doing a video, it's the black bean. And I'm also going to be using some sesame oil into that. So you're just going to be mixing the two. I'm going to grate a little bit of ginger. And I'm going to do all of that over there because I don't want it, um, I don't want it to spill. So you know what? I'll um, show you guys when I get over there. I will be making it for you guys. All right, you guys. Let's get to part two of this recipe of our fried dumplings, fried seafood dumplings, guys. Thank you so much. Again, like, comment, subscribe if you are happy with the results or if you have suggestions for me, you guys. Stay blessed. Thank you so much again for coming back to this channel. Love you guys and I hope you've been affected. I have my ginger in here, like I told y'all. I have the dip, I have the black bean soy sauce, and I have the, the sesame oil. So we're gonna put in, that's some ginger that's already in there. Not, we're gonna add some sweet chili sauce. Sorry guys, everybody's making noise, they're excited. Here's the black bean sauce that goes right in here. Okay, now we're gonna whisk everything together. Oh, we're gonna add some green onions too. So hold on, you guys. 
I'm going to whip this up really well. If you want, you can add a dab of sugar into this, you guys. But your sauce is done. Okay? All right, this is it, guys. All right, you guys, so this is the dip. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope that you will replicate this dish. God bless. Thank you so much for coming by.